Hey, how's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about touch automation. Touch automation, touch automation. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Now, this is a um, almost a subset of automation in general. If you don't know what automation is and how to use that, I would suggest going back and watching some of my previous tutorials on that. I will post links right beside me um, if you want to go watch those. Alright, so basically what this is used for is if you have, um, say, an electric guitar, like I have right here, and you want to put a wah pedal on it, it would be really, really difficult to go into this track, press A, and automate a ton of points into that wah that you actually want it, when all you can simply do is just move that wah up and down, and then hopefully have that... Um, automation just recorded on top of this track and it's possible you can do that with touch automation so if you press A and get into your automation view you can down here at this box that says off already you can go down and select touch now all you have to do is press play and manipulate that setting that you want and it will record the automation on top of your track like so <laughs> Alright, so you can see that it recorded all my automation, and if I go back and play it, it recorded all the, everything that I just did right here on this wah pedal. The wah pedal is moving, and it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. You can go in and take points out, do whatever you want, edit after the fact, um, but this is a very, very simple way of getting automation that you want quickly. All right. Another reason that it is used is because, say you are in the ES2, you made this awesome synth, but you want to um, manipulate, I don't know, a cut or something like that. And you go in here to your automation and you're like, oh my lordy. There is a million different things you can choose in here. Which one do I do? And if you can't find it and there's just so many different things and you don't want to actually put in every single point, you can do the exact same thing that I just showed you. Um, so, since with a ton of different options for automation, there's a very, very good um, almost excuse to use touch automation. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I really had to show you, everyone. Um, just a little trick to adding automation from manipulating buttons, things inside of Logic. Um, it's even um, cooler if you have it hooked up to your MIDI instrument, and all you have to do is twist buttons on that instrument. Uh, it could be a piano, um, a controller, anything. So uh, that's all I had to show you today, everyone. Thanks for watching. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe. And if you have any other questions or suggestions for future videos, hit me up in the comments below or in my message box. I would be totally okay with that. And I will either, I will for sure answer your question and possibly, just possibly, make a tutorial over that. Yes, yes, yes. So everyone, you guys have a uh, great day or night or morning or whatever the hell it is. Um, uh, peace out.